first sips and you don't know if the water is just scorching or not. A little bit of panic setting in right now. Oh, no, way too hot. All right, pump the brakes on that one. Hey friends, Spanky Valentine here. Welcome to my face. Welcome to another tea with Spanky and more importantly, welcome to the twins. <laughs> do, the, do the girls look saggy? Do they look a little, we a little lopsided? Okay, we, okay, get your life. Can we just get in formation real quick? Come on, twins, come through. So earlier today, I got together, just me and about 500,000 of my closest friends. <laughs> and well, this happened. <laughs> Today we are talking women's rights. We're, we're gonna sip all the tea on it. So let's do this. Uh, the Women's March just happened today across the country. So we are here at the Women's March and the energy is freaking incredible. All these people gathered together in unity, fighting for what's right. That's what matters, y'all. It was just basically humans marching for humans under the guise of love and unity and acceptance and inclusiveness and equality. Hey. Hey. I had no idea what I was gonna wear to this thing. I didn't, I, I just couldn't even think about it. So I have seen those printed like boobwa shirts for a little while and I was like, you know what? I like that idea, but like I'm not, I'm just so naturally what your girl do. DIY, y'all I grabbed an old ass t-shirt. She grabbed that Sharpie, but like the good kind girl, the kind that like writes on fabric and it is permanent cause we are official. And I drew me some boobies. I'm about to be so demonetized in this video, aren't I? <laughs> I think she has the legit shirt. You have the real shirt. I had to make oh. one. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Best boobies for boobies. Boobies are boobies. Yes. yes. It's support. I love it. <laughs> there were, of course, some really amazing speakers and singers. Miss Viola Davis showed up or as I like to call her, Auntie Viola. There's also like Natalie Portman, Scarlett Johansson. Some of the greatest, most determined, most inspired women that I have ever had the great privilege. So instead of going in a million directions, I'm gonna ask you guys a question that I think about a lot. And I also, we're gonna have a little story, a little clap back, okay? Spanky had to like clap back on somebody. One person at this march, and we're just gonna have a little moment on that as well. There was one, there was one guy that you broke you know who you are, dude. You know exactly who you are. We about to sip hard on you, boy. So we had this great experience. We're all bonding together. The singing of Kumbaya didn't didn't actually happen, but like it was implied. Okay, there was like an implied. We were all holding hands like in some kind of way. And we are leaving uh, the march. And let me tell you, there are like a bazillion vendors, we'll call them, who are just like standing in the middle of the street and they're like selling t-shirts that they printed or somebody, pr I don't know. Th they put like women's march on it and they're like $10, you get a t-shirt, right? There was this one guy who was selling a shirt and it said like women's march on it. And he was just yelling pussy. I feel like for some of my viewers, you're not gonna wanna hear me say that word. So we're gonna refer to it as kitty. You know what, anytime I wanna reference that word, I just want you to picture the pussy cat because that is a safe word here. Yeah, okay. This is what this is what my boy was doing right now. He was like holding up this shirt and he was like, kitty, 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 get some kitty, get some kitty, 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 kitty. And like, I looked at this fool, right? And like, I'm walking with my friends and I was like, you could just tell, you could tell the way he was saying it, right? He was like, he was not in it for the right reasons. Like he had that hard P on it. You know what I'm saying? That hard 
We see right through you, bruh. Okay, we see right through you. Why am I saying bruh? I have never said that in my life. He was not down for the cause of like equal. You could just tell the way he was. Oh, and so what did I say? I was like, this guy has been waiting a long time to be able to say that like that in public and think that he's fitting in around here. He looks at me, right? He hears me say that because I said that intentionally for him to hear it. Yes, I did. He tries to come up on me with this aggression talking about, oh, no, honey. I've been saying that for a long time, okay? My mama irritates me. My sister irritates me. I'm not afraid to say it. Kitty, 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 kitty. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I said back to him. But of course I did it with love and respect. Ooh. It goes to the bigger picture of there are always going to be people out there who want to use and abuse a situation and are clearly not down for the whole purpose of the whole day, which was treating women with respect and treating women as equals. And he literally just took this as an opportunity to be as sexist and foul and disrespectful as possible. Don't worry. The clap back was strong. They was strong with this one. Okay, y'all be proud. Cheers to you, mom. I see you watching me, watching you, watching me. Okay, thanks for birthing me. <laughs> so one of the major things I've definitely noticed is the abundance of men that are in this. I know it's called the Women's March, but there are so many men here in support. Something that I do want to highlight out of the day, which is something that it gets talked about to a certain extent, but not nearly as focused on, because obviously there are so many issues and uh, things dealing directly with with women and this whole movement. Uh, I don't even want to call it a movement because I feel like it just, this should just be what life is. But I want to take a little bit of a reverse side to this and underscore the importance of men having the same voice and being honored. I was like, out of the 500,000 people that were there, there was a huge percentage of men who were there marching side by side with all the women and the trans and the non-binaries and like every, just we were just all just one big melting pot of human greatness. Uh, it really underscores how powerful we can be when we all unite together, regardless of race, religion, color, creed, economic status, all of the things that divide us in our own minds that don't actually, they don't have to. All right, so here is something that I've been thinking about for a long time. I want to ask you guys, I want to know what the tea is with you guys on this. And it is in regards to the word feminist and feminism, the feminist movement, all of these things, all of these labels. Because as you would expect at the Women's March, I saw lots of uh, banners and signs that say feminist this, feminist that. And every time I hear that word and when I hear somebody referred to as a feminist, feminist. I feel like there's a lot of negative backlash put at people, especially women, who identify themselves as feminists. And it really gets me thinking, where does that come from? You know what, first y'all, we're gonna make sure that we are educated before we drink any tea on the subject. So I looked up the actual Wikipedia definition of feminism. Is Wikipedia considered a source to be giving a definition? Can I get a Merriam-Webster in here? <laughs> Merriam and Webster, I'm gonna need y'all to get your lives right now because you were not number one on the Google search. Feminism is a range of political movements, ideologies, and social movements that share a common goal. To define, establish, and achieve political, economic, personal and social equality of the sexes. I'm gonna stop right there real quick because I feel like a lot of times when people hear someone say I'm a feminist or they use that as a negative, like they're calling him a name. Thing is it focuses on women of course because for so long, for like nearly the dawn of time, women have been oppressed in so many different ways and it's something that we still deal with every single day. That's just a reality. But I feel like there are a lot of people who don't understand what the actual definition is or in this case what the definition is telling me and feel like, oh, you're a feminist, so you hate men. And like, ah, it just says equality for the sexes. I don't know. I, uh, so, uh, oh. 
And that's something that I wanted to ask you guys. When you hear the word feminist, do you think of something negative? Do you think of something positive? Something neutral? Do you think it's a necessary, that label? And like the reality is, have I ever identified myself as a feminist? No, I've never like given myself a label. I think the closest that I've come to giving myself a label is as an egalitarian. If y'all don't know what that word means, Webster's your friend right now. Realistically, I'm kind of in this place where labels and words, I've just never really felt like they fit me. It's the same thing is true with my coloring and being biracial and not wanting to be labeled as one or the other because I'm not, I'm a mix of everything, but that's a whole other video topic. Speaking of song of the day is Everybody by Logic. <laughs> Get into that one. I feel like the negative connotation is often perpetuated by sexist individuals, whether they're feeling threatened and they need to cut somebody down or it's based off of ignorance and they don't really understand what it's all about actually and they just want to throw some judgments. I want to know what you guys think on this. Do you think the label feminist is bad? Do you think that labels like that should exist or do you think that they shouldn't exist? Do you think labeling ourselves as one thing or another is ultimately detrimental to our progress as a society? Society, as a community, as a people, as a whole. In my experience, I feel like labels are almost always abused. The thing is, if you let humans do something, there are going to be some bad apples. There are going to be some people who are going to abuse it and use it in the wrong way and give something a bad name. You know what I'm saying? Like there are humans who give the word human a really bad name. Let's just be honest. <laughs> So I guess my question is, do we need to abolish the label feminist because too many people have maybe perverted what it actually means? Or is that more reason why we should get behind labels like that? Are we in a new era of feminism? Are we in the opposite era of feminism? Are we just humanist? I kind of want to feel like that's what I am ultimately is like a humanist. That's my label. I'm really curious to what you guys think about this. So that is the sip of the week. The question question of the week. Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. It's time to raise a mug to the commenter of the week. This is where I choose one of your comments from my last video and I'll read it out loud and like say yay to you and yay to us. This one comes from Knit Cirque All Day on my Shane Dawson video when I was talking about uh, people's obsession with sensationalizing everything and drama and how we just need so much drama. I think we all as a society need to learn to be okay with the mundane. Interesting. Uh, having an ordinary life without drama isn't a bad thing and it will make those that sensationalize things for drama less appealing. We don't need gossip to survive. We need to learn to appreciate people for who or what they are and just talk about real things. Cheers to that. I think so much of what you said is really true and I really like that idea of like we don't have to feel like everything has to be dramatic. It's important that we always make sure we are questioning what we see, what we're reading, the things that we are fed. Uh, all around us because not all of it is true. Hold up y'all, we gotta talk about the mug of the week. This one says, my cat is cuter than your boyfriend. And I mean, come on, who's gonna argue that? <laughs> I love you. I am working on getting that P.O. box set up because I know you guys want to send in some mugs that I can feature in these videos and like send other things. Yes, this is another mug from Home Goods because they are just coming through for me right now. Hashtag not spawns. But you know what? I think we need to make that happen. Home Goods. And I'm currently sipping on my favorite of all time, a triple leaf white tea. Also let me know in the comments what you want to sip tea on next week. All right, so we are just leaving the Women's March. It was a massive success. I'm almost out of tea, which means I'm gonna wrap this up with Spanky's moral of the story here. Uh, ultimately, I think life is pretty simple. If you stop treating people like shit and treat them with respect, then this world's gonna be a whole lot better place. And I'm sorry for those of you who might be upset with me for using like direct language, but I want you to remember this. Four letter words only have the power that you decide to give them. And ultimately I think the only word that needs to have all of the power is this one right here.